Cambridge is a cycling town. We consider ourselves to be almost as good at providing for cycles as in the Netherlands. The city council thought that if they were going to be even more of a cycling town that they ought to perhaps adopt some of the ideas from the Netherlands, uh, in, including this roundabout. Uh, as you see, I, I had to hesitate then because I didn't know what that cyclist was about to do. Um, and I think it's safe for me to now go. But it's <laughs> there's a certain amount of quite fine calculation that one has to do here. I cycle every day and it's my main way of getting around the city. In terms of the safety of roundabout, you have to think about what it was like before. It was a very, very busy junction. To be fair, I drive as well on it, and you have to be careful because you've got the pedestrian crossings and the cycle paths. There's a lot for you to think about, but that really because when I drive, it's about slowing down. But also as a cyclist, you've got to watch out. You've got to bear in mind that people might not see, but I found it quite useful, actually. We're approaching the Dutch roundabout. I use it perhaps once or twice a week, sometimes in a car, sometimes in a bike. The good thing about it is that because it is rather complicated and people, some people are not quite certain how it should be used, we all approach it very slowly. But here we have a situation where the pedestrian has right of way first uh, and she's crossing uh, on the pedestrian crossing that the cyclist then comes next and a cyclist is coming from my right so I'm waiting for her and another one but that car I don't think perhaps exiting the roundabout is more difficult because the cyclist comes uh, from your left which you're not used to and uh, I thought that the car coming out just then gave uh, the cyclist not enough not quite enough room, but not, no harm was done. No, I didn't see that cyclist uh, on my left, uh, and had he continued across the roundabout rather than coming down my road, I, I'd rather dread to think what might have happened. I think the biggest problem for the roundabout is not the roundabout itself, but we've only got one in Cambridge, there's none anywhere else, so nobody has a chance to get used to it, so if we had Dutch roundabout or something different, I don't really mind. As long as you have provision for both and you apply it consistently so everybody knows it's going to be there, then people get used to it. I really am in, in two minds, I think, about it. If this roundabout helps people to think about each other a bit more carefully than before, that is a good thing. But equally, if it poses more questions about who has priority over whom and when, then it's a bit difficult to say whether that's, whether the roundabout has become an advantage or not. <laughs>